Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up an automatic email every time you publish a new podcast episode. To do this, you're going to need two things, a transistor account with a valid podcast RSS feed and a MailChimp account. All right, so we're going to start back in our transistor account. This is my podcast. You can see all my episodes here. And basically, when I click publish on an episode, I want it to automatically email my mailing list. So I'm going to go to RSS feed and copy this to the clipboard. Then I'm going to head over to MailChimp and I'm going to go into campaigns. I'm going to choose the mailing list for my podcast. Where is it? I'm going to I'm going to choose this mailing list for my podcast and I'm going to click the create campaign button. Next, I'm going to click email and I want to click automated. And then down here, I'm going to choose share blog updates, but I'm actually going to be sharing podcast updates. So we're going to choose the mailing list here. Let's begin. First thing I will do is put in the RSS feed from my Transistor podcast account. Now I'm going to have it send every day at 4 a.m. Pacific, but only if there's new content. All right. I'm going to go to the next place here. And I want the entire audience to receive it. So I'm going to click next. And I'm going to change the campaign name to uh, automatically email new podcast episode. Now here in the email subject field, I'm going to type in new podcast episode from RSS feed colon title. This will put the title of the episode automatically in the subject line. Now in the preview text, I'm going to put listen to the latest episode. I want this to be from Justin and I'm going to change the email address here. Perfect. I'm going to track clicks and do all that other stuff. So I'm going to click next. All right. So next I'm going to use a template. I'm just going to choose this one here and I'm going to start updating it. So first, of course, I'll want my show art here. I've got that right here. I'll just save that image. Mega Maker cover art. And I'm going to go back here and I can actually just drag that right on here if I want. There we go. And if I want to size it, make it a little bit smaller, I can do that. There, that's a little bit better. And in the alt text, I'll put Mega maker podcast and I want to link this to the actual podcast website which which I can find by going back to my transistor account clicking on website here it is so I'm going to copy that and link that there all right okay so now in this text box I want to write there's a new episode of the podcast out today and I'm actually going to insert a link here. And instead of putting in a HTTP, you know, I'm actually going to use this star and then this bar symbol, RSS item, colon, URL, bar, and then star. And this, when it's sent out, will automatically insert the link to that episode on Transistor for your subscribers. So we're going to click insert. And here I'm going to use two more of those merge codes. So I'm just going to paste these in here. Um, and actually I need to reformat this a little bit. All right, so let me explain this. Here is RSS item title. And then again, if we look at the hyperlink, it has that RSS item URL, very important if you want to be able to send people to the episode. And then this RSS item content 
that is the little summary that you'll see, you know, in iTunes and other things. So this is just the, the short summary of the episode, and that's going to appear right here. And this will be the title of the show. In this case, it's this one here. All right, that makes sense so far? Okay, now, here in this image, I'm going to do a little hack. So I'm just going to head back here and click share. Now here's the, the embeddable player. I'm going to use Apple's screenshot utility here. I'm just gonna grab this. And here it is down here, right? And now I can edit this. And really all I want to do is I want to erase the stuff that looks episode specific. So I'm going to use a box to just hide the, the stuff I don't want people to see. And then I'm going to create another box just to hide that episode. Now I have an image that looks like the embeddable player that I'm hoping my email subscribers will click. So now I'm going to save that. And back in MailChimp, I'm going to grab that and drag it into my email editor. And there it is, right? You can see it has the play button and everything. Now, what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to grab this same URL, this RSS item colon URL, and I'm going to hyperlink this image. Uh, so let's do that. All right. And I'm actually also going to fix this. It's a little bit too wide. I'm going to make it 600 pixels wide. And I'm going to put another emoji here. I'm going to see if I can find a play button. This kind of looks like play button. Play episode. This is just in case this image here doesn't load. All right. So now we've got that. And down here, I want to have all of the show notes, right? So I'm going to put show notes for this episode. And in here, I'm going to paste in this merge field, which is content full. And what that will do is it will show all of these show notes here, automatically insert those. All right. And again, if we wanted to put a button that says, listen now, we could do that as well. So let's grab that RSS item URL. And we're going to go over this button and listen now. And we're going to paste in that URL there. Now, if I wanted to highlight some other things here, I could. Uh, maybe some things from my store. I have a, a merch store here. So let's kind of make it make.co. All right. So now this email, it looks like it's ready to go. I've got, you know, my cover art there. I've got this right here. I've got the player. I've got the full show notes. And I've got some things from my merch store. So now I'm going to head over here. And it says I'm all ready to send, right? I've got it pulling from this feed to this audience with this subject line, this preview text from this person. And here is the HTML email I'm going to be sending. Now, if I want to send a test email for this, I can do that here. I'll send that right now. All right, now here in my email, I can open this up. And you can see that it's actually pulled in my latest episode with all of the relevant stuff. Now, it's important to see what it'll look like without images loaded, right? Maybe not as good, but we at least have the basics in the text, right? And so if I click this link, what happens? I get taken to the episode. I can play it here. Likewise, I could click the play episode here. It takes me to the right place. And if I display images, well, now I have an automated email that looks even better. And every time I publish a new episode, this email will be automatically generated for all of my subscribers. The title automatically populates, the summary automatically populates, the link to the episode automatically populates, and then the show notes are automatically inserted here. Plus, you have the added bonus of promoting some of your merch every time you publish an episode. This is a great way to use your email list if you've already built one, and I hope you have. If you want more information on this, head over to transistor.fm.